Are you done clicking over there? Oh, I wasn't clicking. I was doing body progression. Okay. I'll trust you on that. Hi! Welcome to Tyranny of Dragons, where we listen... The, the only show where we listen to Nate play himself. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Hawk. I am your game master for this evening. And today, joining us, we have a bunch of fucking nerds. Including... Hey, I'm a... <laughs> including, Excuse you, I'm a geek. Including Thank Sarah, you. who is a geek, apparently. Morgan, <laughs> who is in a different location. And apparently not talking to us anymore. I'm sorry, I'm here. <laughs> um, yum, there you yum, go. yum, yum, yum. Uh, Nate, who is currently eating in the middle of my game. <laughs> hey, start. <laughs> And I've had this game, this bowl of goddamn rice, chicken, and mushrooms since goddamn noon when I made it. That actually does sound really good. And also, uh, <laughs> a fish. A fish, yes. Yeah, he's a fish. He's cool. He's surprisingly chill with you uh, buttering him up and seasoning him with lemon and pepper. Ooh, and, and a nice, tasty uh, teriyaki. Well, I tend to avoid the teriyaki, but... Oh, you allergic to some of the seasonings? I understand. No, I'm not. I just don't like teriyaki. Oh, I love teriyaki. Well, we're going to have a fucking problem now, aren't we? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we got to fight, dude. I'm yeah. we're, we're fi we, Guys, th I'm Those are fighting here. words. <laughs> Crimes. Last time on Tyranny of Dragons, the party... Uh, uh, went through the first third of this dungeon as you can, yeah, as y'all can see on my map they went through the first third and then found the secret entrance to the last third cause you know we have a person that's all eyes yeah and now they're going to go through the other like half of it Ooh. yes this dungeon is two thirds and a half it is 133% dungeon <laughs> <laughs> after after, after we already hard. dealt with the boss yes essentially math is hard math is difficult but they managed to subdue Frilam Mondoth the wearer of purple in here and they have tied her up to a post made of stone and I have so much fun information about wearers of purple that I'm that I'm not privy to in character Indeed. I Any love the, lore, the lore for... Yeah. We are going to continue this dungeon crawl. The party has had a short rest. They have rolled their hit die to get some HP back. All any abilities that they could use their short rest to get back, they've gotten back. Which I don't think is fucking any of them. I don't think sorcery points come back on a little short rest. I got Channel Divinity back. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get my spell slots back and change an Eldritch Invocation instead of the Eldritch Site where I'm going to be able to see anything detect magic I changed that to Agonizing Blast so Eldritch Blast will do more damage if I can hit Nice Damn. Yeah, no, I don't get my social yeah, points back I, I was just looking that up too and no, no you don't but does the barbarian get to rage again? Yeah. Maybe. I think rage oh. does come back after a short rest. No, no it does not. Oh, it's long rest, actually. Wow, alright. Sorry, Morgan. You're gonna have to be... You're going to have to lack your rage. You're gonna have to actually be calm for a fight. Uh, don't, you, don't you get two rages, though? I'm pretty sure. You do. Yes, you do. Cool. You used one... Yeah, that's it. Oh. It's just if I can actually hit something this game. Because <laughs> I did it last time. I mean, <laughs> when, you, when you've already chopped off a dragon's horn, you're kind of winning. You know, you're right. I don't have to hit anything else this session. Or ever again. Not just this session. This campaign. <laughs> you have managed... You have managed to infuriate a blue dragon by cutting off his horn. You win. <laughs> Until you find that blue dragon again. 
Yeah. And he's pissed. I mean, he's clearly the BBEG. No, really? Well, <laughs> the name of the campaign, I think the BBEG is someone a bit bigger. You know, totally You're right. It's tyranny of dry guns, <laughs> not dry gun. You're right. It is right. someone bigger. So it's a shark. I'm see a rainbow here. <laughs> I almost started talking in my Scottish accent. Uh oh. <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> any, uh, well, any slot. Y'all are welcome to uh, start moving around. Do your things. Oh, uh, perception to make sure there's no more of those violet uh, guy monsters around. Last I recall, y'all burninated the entirety of it. I, I okay. burnt the entire room. All right, so we're just walking through the steam. You're walking through the ashes <laughs> okay. of a thousand dead spores. Uh, I do not have control over my character, Hawk, just so you know. Nora would hand back the flask. Uh, says you have control over him. All right, are you... Are you clicked on your select move button, not your ruler? Yeah. Uh, try refreshing. It's according to roll 20, you should be able to. Okay. I can barely see anything. Woo! Yay. As the party enters this chamber of the dungeon... I want to point out, I, I can't see around this corner. Like, I have a wall of black right here. That is bizarre. You shouldn't. Yeah, there's nothing there. Hmm. Better? Okay, I can see out to... Here. <laughs> Yeah, our visibility ends around here. That is unfortunate. Pushing my page. Do we not count as light sources for our own vision? You do not, surprisingly. All right, Nora. <coughs> uh, Nora, do you have bright vision? Bright vision. <laughs> yes, we all have bright vision. <laughs> do you have um, dark vision? <laughs> no, but I can produce a light. Okay, 30 so feet. I, I have a light on my... Um, uh, however much holding a bit of fire would do. Gotcha. That's not all that much. But still a something. A 10-foot radius with a torch. Yeah, and... Morgan. I'm assuming you have a torch, too. I do now. And I have light on my... A anyway, we, we were about to be lectured at about the inhabitants of this room yes if I'm not mistaken all right as you enter this chamber you find that there's very little in it the stone floors here seem to be slick with some kind of fluid and looking around, you notice a couple of dead bats on the floor. Other than that, doesn't seem to be much in here. Uh, Nora's going to do the one thing that you that the NPCs never do in video games. She looks up to make sure that there's nothing above them. What you see above you is a colony of bats. Ooh. As you raise the torch up to get a better look, a lot of the bats start scurrying away from the light, squeaking and sputtering at you. Bennett puts his shield above his head. All right. Please proceed. The cave is quiet, almost silent, 
aside from the scratching and squeaking of bats above you. All right. As you all are moving forward, please roll me stealth checks. I'm so good at stealth. <laughs> Oh, I'm my decent God. at it. If I can get my hey. page to load, that is one stealthy barbarian. Wow. All right. I am somehow rolling decent. Are you? Oh well, you are. All right. We're waiting on Arafin. And watch, I wasted my only decent roll of the game right there. All right. Arafin, you slip Ow. on some guano. Oh. oh. Wait, we have no actual stealth characters with us? And uh, as Bennett <laughs> trudges forward, the clinking and clanking of his armor disturbs the bats as well. As all of them suddenly take off, screeching and sputtering as they fly out of the cave. But that's not all you woke up, unfortunately. As from uh, be from the swarm of bats come a bunch of little bat-like creatures that immediately start spitting and biting at the party. Oh. All right. Everybody roll initiative. Uh, Let's start Final yeah. Fantasy music here. Ha ha! <laughs> I forgot to click my character before I did that, sorry. You have failed this city. <laughs> you have failed this city. Website. Oh my god. Wow. What? So wow. many. <laughs> oh my god! What? Did they roll the ones? They rolled a seven, a four, and a three. Arafin, save the party. There we go. Holy that shit. That's one to <laughs> I'm tired of having these damn monsters crowd me. <laughs> All right. They will get a surprise round. But they won't get their turn this turn. All right. So first one attacks Nora. Oh boy. Oh, uh, okay, hey, look, it hits. Oh no. And that'll deal max damage. Seven piercing damage to Nora as the Sturge swoops down and bites into her. Okay, ow. Then another one attacks her. And that one will miss. It tries to bite but gets caught in Nora's robes. Then another one. This one manages to bite into her neck and deal seven oh. as well. Jesus. What curse of was last week? Okay. <laughs> there goes over half my health in one turn. Good job. All right. Well, all the Sturges have this big old beefy target right here who just looks like Horrifying. that she is just absolutely full of blood and they start biting at Astos so one uh, take, and it bites into her arm dealing five damage extremely rude and the other one bites and deals seven damage tearing into more into Astos's neck. Another one swoops in and bites into her back, dealing four damage. Another one swoops in and bounces off of one of her horns. And the last one swoops in and gets caught on her armor before disentangling itself. And finally, the two next to Arafin. Your AC is 14. One of them bites her and deals six damage. The other Ow. one chomps at her, but 
she manages to swat it away before it can do anything nasty. Now, it is Arafin's turn. <sighs> that <laughs> hurt! And she's going to clutch a necklace that had been tucked under her blouse and utter word of radiance. Ah, uh, see. Each creature of your choice that I can see within five feet must succeed a con saving throw or take 1d6 radiant damage. Word of radiance. Oof. Alright. Is that wisdom save or con save? Either way, it's 14. It's one damage. Yeah, spell save DC is 14. Um, it is a con saving throw. Con saving throw. All right. First one. Second one. Wow, neither of them made it. Great! 1d6. Oh, 1d6. Three radiant damage to both of them. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, they're roasted. It's Mac. Nice. They're they're tiny bat monsters. They bite hard, yeah. but they don't do anything else. Alright. Alright. You said that was six damage earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Tis but a scratch, but ow. And Bennett. Time to be a I'm man. I'm gonna whack this one with my mace. Okay. That will hit. You smack the Sturge off of Astos with your mighty mace. And you may roll damage. I'll roll damage for you if you want. I'm doing it. I, I typed the wrong thing. Why are you typing? Just click you can just click. You can just click mace. Oh, yeah. I clicked it. No, no, down. Uh, in, in the, the the mace in chat. Yeah, it's dead. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it now. Yeah, there you go. No, no, I know. Yay! Oh. And knowing is half the battle. The other half is incredible violence. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. Which is about to be wreaked upon our bodies. Astos. Hello, hi. I'm gonna... I'm gonna attack that one in... right here. Alright. That one is still fluttering around you. As you swing your mighty spear at it. And miss. Are you kidding me? Yeah. All I crave is violence and all I get is this. I crave violence, but all I get is disappointment. All right. Narmog. Okay. So, I got two nibbling into me, right? Yes. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> That's generally the response, yes. Okay. Um. Do I do the dumb? Yes. Always do the dumb. <laughs> it's Nora entertaining. Was, Nora might still be pissed from last time. But can you uh, do the dumb? I can totally do the dumb. I just might knock myself out. Do it. I believe in you. We still we have a healer. What would <laughs> what would Nora do? Um, what radius is this? <laughs> That's a wonderful question. Yeah, it'd make a man. I think you should go ape shit. I have a kitten in my lap, by the way. <gasps> Yay! Okay. I'm, oh, I can wipe out a nice chunk of them. 
Then do it, nerd. Do it. How good is our is our scaly uh is our is our scaly barbarian? You, I should know that that'll hit two guy that'll hit two of our allies. Okay, uh, make sure they don't get to my body. Um. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So I'm likely going to be unconscious. Well, this will be good. <laughs> you would see Nora pull out a small vial of water, pop off the top, and she flings it at the ground as it just completely freezes into a knife before shattering on impact with the floor. You cast I... Ice Knife? At the floor. Right below me. So it's going to deal 2d6 cold damage to everyone adjacent <laughs> to you and to you. Yes. And does the 2d6 offer a deck save? Yes, it does. All right, what's the save? It is DC 13. All right, that probably won't matter for them. Go ahead and roll da roll your save and then roll your damage. Because unless you roll two ones, there's... <laughs> Oh no! Oh. <laughs> well. Well, this just escalated very quickly. How did I know that would happen? I'm How gonna, did I know that would happen? I'm gonna be a dick here. Your spell goes off perfectly, infused by your wrath, and deals max damage. <laughs> To everyone and you. <laughs> Does that oh mean everyone as in me and Bennett too? No, you're fine. No, okay. I just wiped out the floor around me and myself. Good job. How much damage does it do? It do it dealt max damage of 12. Oh my. So the two that made their save only took 6 damage. Which is still way more than enough to kill him. Yes, it is. You know, I am very good at AoE damage. That's great. Are you still standing? No. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead and make your first death save, please. Chite. I thought those were supposed to happen at the start of the turn, but okay. You're fine. Okay, one. Uh. one's good. Arafin! Uh, you w turn northward to see a swarm of bats, a swarm of sturges, and then Nora explodes. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Well, first I'm going to fire my crossbow at the one I can see. Because uh, these little bastards don't deserve another spell. She mm. kind of panicked a little. No shit! That one. Will yeah. Not, that bad boy. Will not hit. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Well. Shit. Indeed. Okay, if it didn't hit, then I'm gonna have to run the, the other way. One, two, three, four. And this is why the next cantrip I'm picking up is Thunderclap. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Oh, what's my <laughs> speed? Shit. So I don't have to do that shit again. I can move you know. 30. Alright, so I can move two more squares. Come on, screen. One. Two. two. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, she's trying to get to you, man. Gotta oh, wait no, no, I, I was just saying it hurt to laugh. Oh. Okay. You can get there. Okay, yeah. I'll get there and slap her. All right. like, you idiot! <laughs> All right, one of them, one of the Sturges, who is still biting Astos, will continue to bite Astos and deal four damage. Fun. Mmm, tasty dragonborn blood. The other Ooh. two will snap and bite at Bennett. And one of them will manage to bite into his cheek. Dealing four damage. The other one bounces off of his plate armor, tries to bite him again, and bounces off his armor again. 
and then squeaks and screeches at him angrily, because how dare he wear armor. <laughs> and Bennett, what is your response to a Sturge bouncing and trying to bite your chest? I'll say, I really wish you wouldn't have. I'm sure the Sturge wishes it wouldn't have either. <laughs> Holy wow. shit. Wow. Yeah, uh, fucking uh, smash. <laughs> hey, look. Chunky salsa. With that crit, I'm going to say you can make another attack with disadvantage to try and rip out the one on your face. Make an attack? Yeah, with disadvantage. Why would you yeah, rip him off your face? He's just giving you a little kiss. Uh, you managed to smash yourself in the face. Roll damage. I need to... Oh, no. <laughs> you deal two damage to yourself. Ow, what the... Can somebody get this thing off of me? <laughs> All right. These epic people that just took down a, a, a wearer of purple are getting beaten the fuck up by mutated mosquitoes. <laughs> And um, Astos, it's your turn. <laughs> because it's in character for my character, I'm going to enter a rage and then a frenzy. Oh, oh no. Oh, shit. Um, okay, proceed. Which will give me a bonus attack if I bungle this. So I'm going to try and attack the last two around me. All right. As I desperately look up what the fuck Frenzy does. <laughs> I think she's not capable of controlling herself for a few rounds. Unless we can calm her down. Oh shit, yeah, you can just make an extra attack. That's a bonus action. That's fucking cool. Alright. Uh, go ahead and make your second attack, because that one fucking missed. Though they gain a level of exhaustion at the end. Oh man. There's nothing more I hate. I right now. I will let you re-roll that. Cause like the dice hated you yesterday yesterday. Last week. Last Session. Thank you. That was the word I was thinking of. I'm not gonna let them hate you this time. There we go. There you go. Uh your That's strength your strength bonus alone is twice their hit points. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So you manage to spear the one on Bennett's face, giving him a nice five o'clock shave. <laughs> <laughs> Took me three weeks to grow that. <laughs> All right. And... Aww. Nora, you're dead. Arafin! <laughs> uh, Nora, go ahead and roll your, your next death save, please. Yeah, I was slapping her away. All right. So Second I thought one. that would. No, you wouldn't have had time to slap her awake. Okay, now I'm giving her a proper bitch slap, like Deadpool to Wolverine in this video game. Just wake up, be stupid bitch. All right. Uh... A strength check, I guess. Roll an attack. Okay. Please be a crit, 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 please be a crit. Be a crit. <laughs> oh, shoot. All of those are spells. Um, I just roll a strength. You need like an arm. Oh, okay. Please be a crit, please be a crit. Oof! You hurt your hand on her face. Good job. <laughs> but you do manage to wake her up. Uh, good. Ow. She's kind of shaking her hand over her face like, you silly dragon. <laughs> uh. Alright, and the Sturge is going to... Astos, you may make an attack of opportunity if you wish. I will. You will? Then do it. I will. Do it, train, train man. Choo-choo! That'll hit, because you're doing it with advantage. Woo. 
and that will straight up murder it. All right, hooray! Hey, it's just kebobbed it to the pillar. Yes. Good job, team. Well done. Well, that was yep. a little less effective than I thought, and I'm gonna go over to the middle and cast prayer of healing. Aww. Prayer of healing. Level two. At level two. At level, oh, wow. Everyone gets twelve hit points back. Aw, thank you. Thank you. As you just see all the wounds and frost start to flake off of Nora. Let's try not to make it that bad again, please. Okay. Ag agreed. And again, I... It also well, takes me ten minutes to cast that. All right, so the party is chilled. All right, so from up in. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, I panicked a little bit and cast a spell that was not the best. Anyway, continue. All right, from up here, you can smell something foul. From coming from here, you can smell freshly cut meat. And from over here, nothing. It's just there. Does anyone have a preferred uh, direction which we go? Well, don't the fiends and evildoers tend to stink the greatest? Why don't we head toward the stench to make sure that there's nothing there? On the other hand, freshly cut meat means something's actually eating right now and is probably very distracted. That too, though I... Let's be honest, we made quite this ruckus just now. Just I'm gonna mm. ignore the one clear path. <laughs> the one what path? The one clear path. One. Oh. I don't mean to break it to you there, uh, rosy cheeks, but you're the one that made the ruckus. To Nora. True. Says the man w wearing a tin can. This Polish tin my can. boots before we go into a cave. It, we all make mistakes. Let's just pick a path and get out of here. Remind huh. me not to heal her anymore. <laughs> just saying. You're the one who woke up... This Whatever those things were. You know, Nora, for every three claws you point at somebody else, one's still pointing back at you. Mm. Oh, yes, I know. Either way, <laughs> we're in this together. Shall we head towards the meat or the stench? Seems as though Astos has chosen for us. Estos, as you approach this area, you can see that this is obviously the trash dump of the cult. Oh, fun. Junk, refuse, food scraps, everything is just thrown down there. Though you occasionally do see glimmers of something shiny deeper in the cave. Hard to tell if it's worth anything, but it could be worth going to check out. <laughs> They've got the goods behind the junk. It's the good junk. I don't really particularly find myself scrounging through the trash, even for a shiny bit, but... 
I'll observe after we've cleared the rest of this place out. Agreed. I'll point out also that the cliff, the little cliffs here, are ten feet deep. Oh. Big of a drop it was. Yeah, you might not want to jump in just yet. No. (laughs) Okay. Now, if that's ten foot, then we might be better off going around, I guess. Yes, let us... I'll let you lead the... You get... I'll choose your path. I seem to have a bad sense of direction today. I can get my token to move around. There we go. Alright. Shall we? As the party proceeds forward... Now that the bats have settled down again, the cave is quiet, save for the occasional squeak or chirp. As you look down this small packet package passage, you can see at the end is a very thick leather curtain. At the base of these steeply descending steps, a curtain hangs across the passage. It is made from hundreds of heavy leather strips, each about the width of a human hand. The strips are fixed to the, to the ceiling and are long enough to drag on the floor. And the curtain extends from wall to wall. It's not very high quality leather, and it's several layers deep, so you can't exactly see through it. But the smell of old blood and freshly cut meat assaults your nostrils. Uh, Alright. Arafin would ruffle around for a handkerchief to tie around her mouth and nose and try to push the, the torch forward around the leather to where it won't catch fire, but at least she can see better. All right. She's mainly using the handkerchief to make sure she won't gag on the smell. All right. And anything else? Uh, Bennett, can you still cast that light spell? It's going to get awful dark real quick. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'll cast light on my mace again. Alright. So, yep, we're pushing through. Alright, make me a deck save. Oh! Okay. As you start, Why did I make as you start pushing aside the leather curtains, you see them start layering over each other, and then very quickly you you notice poison-tipped needles hidden within the layers of the curtains. Oh! You, you pull back just in time to notice that an entire layer of these leather straps are covered in these poisonous needles. You're going to have to be very careful about getting in here. Uh, that was a 19 for the deck save. Do I need to roll a few more? Nope, you're good. Okay. Now that you know that there's something up with it, it's pretty easy to use a 10-foot pole or whatever to get around it. Yeah. Or, the or you know, just the quarter torch. staff. Yeah. yeah, that works too. I'm going to motion to the two dragonborn to go before me, and as they as they pass me, I'm going to cast Guidance on each one of them. Nora will just go ahead of them, and just, once she's on the other side, using her quarterstaff to push the drape aside and hold it open for the rest, for the other two. As the four of you enter this room, you find... The floor is covered with dried puddles of blood. Four 
full floor to ceiling columns are spaced across the chamber and chains have been strung between them like clotheslines. Animal carcasses hang on hooks dangling from the chains and you see gutted and skinned antelope, deer, goats, what might be big cats, even a couple small bears. Some of this meat has been in here for a while. There are, you see the occasional fly buzzing around. But other than these carcasses and meat, there's nothing in here of value. Ugh. All right, so they're definitely keeping the pets. Or they're just something sadistic with their torture. We, something tells me that we should take some to feed to said pets should we run across them. To incentivize them not to attack us instead. If you've got room for it in your bag, go for it. Alright, so the party is taking some meat with them. Uh, while they gather that up, Arafin would go back towards the curtain and use her quarterstaff to keep it a, a passageway open so nobody will get stung. Okay. Yeah, we'll snag some of the, of the meat and uh, unfortunately not that much as I can't carry that much more. Hmm. Oh, you're fine. Please proceed. You have acquired one ham bone. Do, 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 do. Shall we head the other direction? Yeah, let's, let's get out of here. Oh. Time for crab. <laughs> out of character. I really like the dynamic lighting in this. It's, it's really cool. It is. Yeah, I do right. too, though it, it can lag out the computer sometimes. Mm. If, if there's it's too many going at the same time, yeah. It's all right. All right, so towards the upper right was the trash area that we still need to investigate. And then we got presumably off to the upper left. Something could just be the end of that secret entryway we found. If my mouth will be so kind to scroll. No, no, it won't be so kind. It'll be a dick. <laughs> yeah, I would want to... Arifin would want to check out the chamber with the presumably the ladder and coming down. Nora, please make me a con save. Oh, lovely. As you step on what looks like a stone... It instead turns out to be very well-made parchment. Painted up to look like stone. 23. And your foot goes right through it. And you fall into a small pit of spikes. Oh. 23 oh. con. Alright. You will take two piercing damage. And that's it. Now, you know that there is a trap there. Good that trap. really doesn't feel like a con save. Oh no, the con save was for something else. Don't worry about it. Oh, fun. <laughs> Can I reach down Don't and say... Don't worry about it. Or maybe we should inspect a little bit before we go further, and I'll try to I'll help her out. Yeah, uh, the pit's like two feet deep. It's not hard. Yeah. Well, I'll still be a gentleman and help her out. It's a nice boy. Thank you. Ow. Him is a good boy. I'm right back. Something just fell. <laughs> Gotta go save the cat. Alright, so what are the rest of you doing? Using quarterstaff in one hand to now look around the floor for any other traps and then make me, torches in the other hand. Make me a perception check, please. Yes, sir. Welcome back. 
Was it the cat? No, the wife dropped a glass bowl inside a glass bowl on accident. Oof. It just made, it oh, just made yeah. a noise. Nothing broke. You find another trap right next to Bennett. Watch your fitting. Thank you. Welcome. Tap a tap a tap a tap a tap a tap a. Seems like everything else is fine here. Oop. Okay. Now that you know where these two pits are, it's pretty easy to avoid them. It's just a quick jump over. Uh, looks like we got some company ahead. I can see vague shadows on the next ridge. I'm sure they're friend shaped. <laughs> like everything else in this cave so far. You see a small group of kobolds in the pit up to the north. And around them are three large drakes. Ooh. These large creatures are staring up at the party, growling softly. Now might be a good time to use that meat. Nora would pull the the comic comedic ham hawk, just sort of waggle it to see if it gets, catches their attention. Oh, it does. They're advancing towards you. She tosses it for them. At which one? Uh, the center one. The center one happily leaps up and snaps it out of the air, chomping the large hunk of meat down, its jaws snapping bone, tearing sinew. The other two crowd around, one of them even stepping up onto the stairs. Did uh, anyone else grab meat? Can I throw a hunk out? Sure. Cool. The only one who didn't grab it was me, so y'all go for it. You know, depending on how much you wanted the ham hocks to weigh, I, I could only likely carry one. <laughs> I only got a strength of ten. You notice I'm a couple... Check it at the... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to chuck it at the one on the stairs. Alright. It happily chomps down and sits on the stairs, chewing at the meat. The other one starts to climb up the wall and makes it a good distance up before turning back to the party, looking at them eagerly. Did I grab one? I forgot. Yes. I'm going to throw it at it. You throw it at the guard, Drake, and it chomps down happily upon it. Doggies. <laughs> Big scaly doggies. Actually, what size is guard drake? I think they're large. No, they're only medium. Hmm. Nora will approach non threateningly. Alright. Just just hand out like oh, like good drinks. Good drinks. Do they seem hostile right now or uh, just no. happily Happily gnawing on their ham hocks. They seem they seem pretty happy to just eat. Okay. In draconic, I want to say to them, I speak draconic, right? We I all speak, speak draconic. draconic. You fool! Like buttercup. <laughs> In draconic, I'll say, "Good drakes, is that the first thing you've had e to eat today?" The guard drake next to you looks up, gives a roar, and then goes back to eating. They seem content. Back in common. They're not very smart. Meanwhile, the group so, of... Song is the, the, the... Sorry, go ahead. 
As long as they're eating those and not us, I'm happy. Let's just keep going. And she's just like tiptoeing around trying to make her way to the next stairwell. Go through the window. <laughs> Meanwhile, the kobolds. You know, the kobolds are staring up at this. Like, do y'all not even fucking notice us? Indraconic. Hello there. How are you? Kill it! Kill it with fire! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, shit. And kobolds are gonna <laughs> roll initiative. Do we want to re-roll our initiative? Or are no, we just I keeping like our shit funny. initiative? We're just gonna like keep the old one. initiative. <laughs> Arafin, <laughs> upon hearing the scream of kill it, kill it with fire, what are you how are you gonna react to that? Oh, let's see. Do I have an AOE spell? Oh, please have burning <laughs> hands. That would be perfect for this. Not quite. They're not in the perfect formation. No. I, I, I don't have that one. That's a different character. Burning hands uh, does this area, unfortunately. It's a much smaller area than you think. All right, that's no, 16. Cone. Yeah. Cone is one in front of the character, and then the six squares past that. So if this is the character, one, two, three. This is the cone, as official rulings go. Okay, right now I do not have cone attacks. I have spheres, and I have... Like, people within five feet of each other? Okay, you're both fucked. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, this is tasty. You Let's know, see. Cone is kind of <laughs> stupid. <laughs> no, better. All right, she's going to drop the torch and the quarter staff, staff simultaneously. And see, the quarter staff? The quarter staff, excuse me. See, all of them nicely tucked near each other, like, <laughs> kill us with fire. How about I stab you all first? And she's going to cast Cloud of Daggers at level two. <laughs> Ooh. Five foot cube. No, yeah. that'd be a ten foot cube. Ten foot cube. <laughs> you're casting it at level two, you said, right? Yeah, so starting with uh, if I can get my ruler out. La 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 la. Let's do... Okay. No, it doesn't increase the uh, size. just increases okay. the damage. So, All right. basically a 5x5x5 five by five by five cube is you pick a square and there's a cube of swirling daggers in it. Alright. So, let's go for the that corner because that's closer to where she can see. Alright. So and he's... she would have moved up to here so she could see to cast it. All right. With all that done, go ahead and roll the 44 damage on that while Bennett goes. And Bennett, your turn. All right. If I... Does it seem like this this Drake will let me go buy it? Yeah, Drake's perfectly fine. They don't seem to have any interest in us. Mm-hmm. Now that we've fed them. We are their favorite people. We fed them. You want to be right here, and I'm going to cast Burning Hands. Ha! <laughs> Alright. You're only going to catch two of them. Nate, I'm going to counter your ruling. Oh, okay. It's technically, you would be able to catch... Well, you have a point of origin, so... Technically, you could catch three of them. Twelve damage. And they get to make a dex save, which is there. Oh, he's dead as fuck. And the dex save is not great. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Fucking roasted. 
You roast the three kobolds. And immediately the drakes come back over and start chowing down on the corpses. Whoa. And this kobold backs away. Backs away some more. <laughs> and then just straight up books it to the corner. Violence always wins. Is combat over? Combat is over. Okay. Nora's gonna sort of just walk down the stairs and pass the co- the drakes pat- patting one on the head if, the- if it would let it be. Or back, I guess. Back is more safe. Give me just a sec. All right. As you go casually strolling down the stairs, you step on a specific step. And rocks start falling. Make me a deck save, please. Oh, no. God fucking damn it. Nora, that kills people. That actually might kill people. Ooh. Uh, you will take nine damage from the falling rocks as they bury you. How? How does this happen to me? Always. You're not watching where you're going. You're about to even walk into my... Well, no, I was going to walk around that. Yeah, well, she can drop it. It's a concentration spell. So that'll go away here in a moment. But apparently I'm buried in rocks, so... You're not buried, buried. You're, like, hurt, buried. Okay. All right. You're still over here. As you clamber out... Ow. Nom, nom, nom. Crunch, crunch, munch, munch. Roasty, toasty kobolds. Please continue. How were you able to go down the stairs while I... And completely fine while I get completely buried in stone. I did skip one step. <laughs> that's, honestly, that's going to be my reasoning. He jumped down the <laughs> stairs. He didn't go down them. Yeah. Uh, you just need to watch where you're going. Nora. I was! Please. Please. Try, let's, let's try to be a little more perceptive and I'm going to touch her on the shoulder and Cast cure wounds. To be fair, Nora was walking down them like a normal person looking where she's stepping. You just got 11 healing. So. Thank you. The fact that she seems to be the, the one who gets it, all these traps hitting her is astounding to me. Though her perception ain't great, so... Mm. It's all right. Um, as they're sorry, you're fine. As you guys are checking out the beginning of that, Arifin would peek down this stairwell just to get a general idea. I can roll perception. I'm assuming you can see that down there. Yeah, and she'd probably turn right back around the corner. I'm guessing it's a... Oh, multiple. Oh, yes, quite a few. Or did it go... Okay, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, see ya. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Can I say to these uh, drakes in uh, Draconic, if you come with us, you can eat everything we kill. One of the drakes look at, looks up at you. With the wondrous eyes of a toddler who just got told they can have a pint of ice cream. <laughs> oh, oh. Maybe but you even have... attack with us? We'll... That'd be great. If you help us fight, you can, you can most definitely eat anything that you kill. But at some times we may need to take prisoners. As we can't get answers uh, okay. from dead people. 
Uh, roll me Arcana, please. Who? Both of you. Okay. Nate, Nora would know that guard drakes are about as smart as dogs. Uh, Nora would pull, pull out a, a piece of beef jerky. The guard drakes all gather around her. And try to get them to sit. As, as she would pretty much use it as treats. Roll animal handling, sit. please. <laughs> please roll high. You manage to get them to sit for a moment before they're already snapping at the meat. Eh, close enough. <laughs> uh, they seem to be willing to follow the party now. Okay. We have Nora, shown that we can provide like them you. with meat. They seem to like you, Nora. All right. Are we coming down to you guys, or are you guys all coming up here? Because there's some more folks down the hall. Uh, yeah, we'll oh. just... How high is this little... Is the slip? Uh, about ten feet. Okay, I yeah, know I gotta go up the stairs. <laughs> As more kobolds start charging out... I'm just gonna give them a five again. That worked out pretty well. Oh, right. Look, the, your, your actions and shenanigans have attracted even more kobolds who are all charging out from this small, very small hallway, effectively bottlenecking themselves. Look, no one said kobolds yeah, effective, were smart. Uh, effectively? You mean bottlenecking themselves? Uh, Arafin, what would you like to do to these poor kobolds? <laughs> Uh, she can take a five foot step once my mouse works and then smack it on the head with her quarter staff. Bam. Wacko cobalt, I guess. Waka waka. <laughs> go For ahead. she is shiny and attracts a lot of people. Uh -huh. I'll I'll go ahead as soon as my character sheet loads. Go on. Roll twenty <sighs> can be my friend. No. Roll 20 is never your friend. Roll 20 is your professional associate, and nothing more. Roll 20 <laughs> is your god. Didn't we, like, beat these dudes general already? Yeah, but they don't know that. Uh... So we're just murdering them for fun? I don't know why I'm getting up in arms about that. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> what? I, I guess kobolds have rights, but not here. <laughs> Uh, yes, kobolds have kobold rights are very important. Kobolds must have the right to charge into stupid combat to try and kill random people. Hot, would you mind clicking on like, the quarter staff for me? My site just froze. I got you covered. Thank you. That's a nat one. Stop. Uh, your quarterstaff breaks on the on the on a stalactite hanging from the ceiling. Yay! <laughs> Nunchucks. <laughs> One time I have advantage and bonk. <laughs> yes, we can craft your staff now into nunchucks. Yep. Sure. <laughs> uh, Bennett, you see you see kobolds. They're here. It's cobalt time. I'm going to just cast a sacred flame on that first one. Oh, all deck right. Save. Deck save. Uh, what is the save? D. All 13. right. Uh, you you fucking annihilate him with fire. The kobold behind him looks very surprised that the uh, that the pack leader just got blasted by holy flames, but uh, all things considered, he recovers fairly quickly and screams something incoherent at you. I'm gonna move up over here. <laughs> all right, and he is immediately in your face, and this one is immediately in their face, and this one's over here, and this one's up here, 
and all of them are now up here. And this one, accidentally sets off the trap that's right here. <laughs> that's awesome. Does Arafin see this? Arafin would see uh, this kobold step on one of the steps here and accidentally set off a trap. <laughs> As fucking... If I can goddamn find it. Meaning we now know that there's a trap there. But there was a trap there. It has been set off. There may still be a trap there. Yep, it is another collapsing roof trap. Oh boy, he gets to make a save. And... Let's see, we're 44. Oh, this cobalt is dead as fuck. <laughs> this cobalt is dead as fuck. As the rocks collapse on him, sending, rolling down, crushing the poor cobalt, and coming to a stop creating rough terrain in front of the other kobolds at the bottom of the stairs who still clamber and climb over it because they want some of that tasty, tasty pink skin flesh. Eep. And now they start attacking. Uh, Bennett, what's your... What's your AC? 18. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. Shut up. Uh, he swings a dagger at you. <laughs> And it bounces off your armor. When did the kobolds turn into murlocs? Uh, <laughs> they were always murlocs. It's a, it's that the sacred captain. The other one swings at you with its dagger. Both of them taking key points, like key stances, and striking out with absolute teamwork and efficiency. And both of them stab your chest, and the daggers bounce off your armor. <laughs> Ah, yes, because kobolds all have one amazing feature. Pack tactics. Yes! One and it of... is annoying as hell. One of them attacks Arafin. And hits! My god. And deals three damage as it slices into her leg. Starts. Another one swings at Arafin as well. And thankfully, that that uh, nat one won't be coming into play here. But it still misses. And finally, the winged kobold in front of Astos swings his dagger at Astos and misses. Woo! Because they're kobolds. Despite kobold rights, you can't... Like, they're still fucking stupid. No amount of human rights can change ignorance. <laughs> we need... See, we can talk all we want about cobalt rights, but what we really need are cobalt schools and cobalt jobs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I got worried about murdering cobalt. <laughs> Honey, it's okay. It shows your barbarian has a lot of heart. It's these, okay. These cobalts need to unionize? <laughs> <laughs> they need to get a higher education. I really think that's what I feel about these kobolds right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. My kobold character in one of our other campaigns would absolutely hate that. Oh. <laughs> what? No, kobold kobolds not need higher educations. I am perfectly SMRT. I am perfectly smart. I am smart. As Valimar as Valimar says, you mean S M A R T. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Astos, you, you, there are kobolds. What do? I'm gonna try stabbing this one. <laughs> emphasis on try. I'm gonna stab him with my pointy stick. Attack thine enemy with thy clopper stick weapon. Oh shit, <laughs> yeah. that actually will hit. Oh, <laughs> my god. Yes! 
Uh, which one did you hit? The wing. Whichever cup? flying one was in front of me. Okay. You managed to slice into him. But he doesn't go down. This one's not going down without a fight. It's time to take down these medium sized bourgeoisie. <laughs> <laughs> The Cobalt Revolution has begun! Down with the tall people! <laughs> Nora, it's your turn. Nora's gonna whistle over at the guard drakes. The guard drakes look up at you. She's gonna, with a smile and, and nod of her head, just... Not over at the kobolds who are being very naughty. Go on, my go on, my friends. Eat up. Uh, roll animal handling, please. Because they're currently still chewing on their other ones. And no, no, they're happy where they are. They All right then. They have roasted kobold. That's good. Oh, I don't want to hurt. I don't want to hit anyone. This love is pain. Just do it. You have a very twisted definition of love. <laughs> very. You Eric say that, but not, I I either hit you or or uh Benny or, or our healer. You can hit me. Hit or me. if you aim for this one, hit me. You just hit me. You need to or, you need to distribute that arcane goodness to the lower working class kobolds. Okay, I'll tell you what, out of character, Nate, if you're worried about hurting me, if you hold your action for just a moment, she can move the fuck out of Dodge and try to like okay. attack something with her I crossbow. Ha I have a lovely little thing called burning hands. It's yeah. like my one offensive spell other than Ice Knife. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> also, Sarah, I'm going to point out, you're a warlock. Why are you in melee? Well, I'm yeah. trying to get out of it. Well, one, why are you in melee? But two, why aren't you Eldritch Blasting? I was about to, but, you know, she's about to torch everybody. I'd rather not die, so... <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm going to hold my turn until after our warlock gets out of dodge so that I can sufficiently burn the enemy. Alright. Uh, Arafen, do you need me to move you? Uh, I should be able to. I can get over here so I'm not on the ledge anymore. I can still see the one attacking Astos and fire that Eldritch Blast goodness at it. Once my character sheet comes back. That's oh. going to be two attacks of opportunity against you. Both of ah. which will hit. As the kobolds see you turn and run, they slice into your legs in unison, uh. dealing a total of ten damage. Oh, fuck you! And... And uh, Eldritch. Eldritch Blast. That will miss. Fuck! As, as you stumble and trip from the leg cutting, your Eldritch Blast goes wild. Uh, at least I'm not prone. Uh, jeez. Yep, go ahead, Nora. Please. Okay. He's Torch. Oh. I step to here, and oh, look! Kobolds primed for burning. Roll it. Do 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 do. The fuck? Oh, do, there do, we go. Do, 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 do. DC thirteen dex. Excuse me. All right. All right. Even on half damage, that's going to kill all of them. Nice. All right. And with that, Bennett, you're up. I move up to here so you can see all of them 
And I'm just going to... Um, how far is that? Can I see down the stairs or, or... Yes, yes you can. It's teeming with kobolds. Okay. Can I cast Sacred Flame on this guy? Sure, I'll allow it. That's a dex save from him. 13. I think he actually has a good chance of succeeding that. Yep. All right. Uh, save for all or save for half? I want to say Flame it's... Flame radiance to send this creature that you can see with any target must succeed or uh, saving throw or take the damage. So not half. All right. He manages to dodge it. Not remove Just a cantrip. Okay. Thank you. All right. Their turn. Rar. 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 Rar XD. Rar XD. All right. And against Bennett. One, two, three, four attacks. The first one, the first one I'm going to use Warding Flare on. Okay. He has disadvantage. So I think with pack tactics that just makes it regular a uh, regular roll, right? Correct. All right. Only one of them hit. The first one rolled a nine, which you lowered to a seven. The second one rolled a thirteen and a thirteen. The second one rolled a nine and a seven, and the third one rolled a nineteen. Fourth wow. one rolled a nineteen. So they went into this flurry of teamwork ninja kobold action, slicing and dicing at Bennett, only for him to look down and see that only one of them managed to cut him for three damage. <laughs> but they wow. scuffed up his armor something fierce. I'm going to have to take this to an uh, armorsmith now, thanks. Cobalt believe in supporting mom and pop shops, not big business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so cringy. Estos, you're up. <laughs> um, well. Hmm. And then I'm going to stab. Okay. And stand in solidarity with my friend. Yes. I forgot his name. Bennett. Bennett. <laughs> you hit. <laughs> you fucking murdered a kobold. Thank God. And here we see the large people oppressing the minorities. <laughs> <laughs> Title of this episode Kobold Rights. <laughs> I got a battery power warning, so that's cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, let's wrap this up. Nora, go ahead. Firebolt. Go for it. <laughs> that will not hit. You missed. Should have just frostbited. Oh, well. Arafin, you're up. <laughs> Flying at the nearest Damn. one. Uh, yeah, dead. Fuck yeah. The crits. That's for my legs, you bastard! And Bennett. What are you doing, Bennett? I'm just gonna smack this one with my mace. Go for it. Or I'll miss. Yeah, you missed. And here's where things get interesting. Because now, guard drakes have caught the smell of blood. Oh no. And they are very interested in getting more kobold meat. So. And draconic. Get them, boys! And girls. <laughs> that, one attacks. Girl. Yeah. that is a dead kobold as one guard drake snaps into its face slams it on the ground and rips it around like a dog. The other one does the same thing, tearing apart a kobold. 
I'm just imagining these do these tricks just ripping into these kobolds, just like my fucking. Uh... Yep. And... Shih Tzu used to with uh, his toys, where you just grab it and rip, like try and bash it as much as he can uh, up against the floor or wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, and with that. The guard drakes happily stump, like pull their kills back and start devouring them. We'll pet the guard drakes, yes. reassuring them. Yes, that was a good job. Good boys, and girls. The party mm -hmm. may continue. Uh, Morgan, are you still with us? I don't think Morgan's with us. His laptop may have died. Nuts. Alright, we will proceed. I will NPC Morgan for now until they can find something else. If they can't, we'll just catch him up next time. Party! <laughs> Party, please continue. Do we want to wrap up the one kobold who cowered in the corner? Or no? Please. I will move him to the uh, uh, to the hostage post. <laughs> well, is there anything around that corner or no? No. Uh, All okay. right. The party may continue. My laptop locked. Oh crap! But you're back. Sorry. Right. You're back. Yay. Yeah. Party, please proceed. Yes. Who would like to go first? Erfan is going down the stairs. Because she's tired of this shit. She wants it to be over. I'm tired of her legs getting hurt and slipping on shit. And her butt's sore. I'm tired. Just, how do we get out of this fucking <laughs> game? Had <laughs> <laughs> it up to here. What you, the library. <laughs> what you find in this giant room are thin mattresses of straw covered with badly cured furs that are haphazardly positioned around the chamber. You see rats and small lizards scurrying around through food scraps and bones with moldy wineskins littering the floor. Do you see the condition these kobolds are forced to live in? By the it's tall horrible. people. We need to stand up for kobold rights. <laughs> the, no one deserves to live in these living conditions. Kobold Liberation Squad. Oh my god. <laughs> now that needs to be a goddamn campaign. God fucking damn it. This, this does need to be a goddamn campaign. That is our group name. Kobold Liberation Squad. Oh my god. <laughs> ALS. We totally kill. Uh, hey! I will point out, you do see the occasional twinkle of gold or silver in the straw. Uh, okay, general investigation to loot. Alright, go ahead and roll investigation, y'all. Uh, Anyone who does is taking about... How long are you spending? At 15, 20 minutes. You got it. Uh, Nora's spending that time instead of investigating bonding with the drakes. You got it. Website, come on. I, I I think I found what I want Nora to be specialized in. Seeing as we taming? To... Yes. That would be awesome. You're a dragon friend. You want to take Can it? you make do... your keyword <laughs> Dracaris, though? For our Game of Thrones fans? If there isn't a Yes. We have fans. Uh, how to train your dragons? Uh, we we will have a we will have <laughs> dragon riders. Oh, that'd be fun. You rolled a nine. It takes about oh. it takes about twenty minutes, but eventually you managed to turn up a good amount of treasure. You find thirty eight gold, a hundred and fifty silver, and seven hundred copper. 
as well as dozens of dragon-themed talismans and amulets carved from bone, soapstone, wood, and ivory. Ooh! Ivory is a good one there. Most of them are shit. But four of them have... Four of them, the ivory ones, have unique, if barbaric and savage, artistic flair to them. They look damn good. Okay, tucking away I'm in my little purse. Yeah, the rest of them. Along with the thieves, Matt. Yeah, the rest of them are worthless. But you know, I already have names for the gar- Drakes. Did you name the big one Bitey again? I call that one Bitey Scratchykins. <laughs> no, I was going to name them Cracksis and Zap. I like it. Crack out of ca- is and zap. Out of character, they are named after the spells from Dragon Quest. Ah, the, the elemental spells. <laughs> Crack is ice, sizz is fire, and zap is electricity. All right. Shall we continue, guys? I think that we've got a little bit more exploring to do. Just a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I had to reload roll twenty, so yeah, y'all go right ahead. It's funny and this you, way, it's funny you named them Crack, Sizzle, and Zap, considering there's they're all lightning. <laughs> blue drakes, right? Blue. Yep, they, they're blue. Uh, oh, if, they're, if, they're, if they're all blue, I'll come up with a different names then. When I just want a theme blue? to them, you know. That one. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna. I'll lead us in. Uh, should I keep the light on my mace, or should we take it off? My torch is blown. You go, go ahead and keep your spell active if it's good. All right. I shall lead us then. Please and thank you. All right. Out of character. I'm still having TD, but I'm. I'll get there. I see anything when I look in, hear anything. Yes. You see a small group of warriors milling about, watching the entrance. They notice you immediately. But they don't take any action towards you. So this is where everybody went. We've been looking for you guys. We, we chased after the prisoners earlier and couldn't find them. We came back and everyone was gone. Figured they'd be in here. I haven't seen anybody but you guys. They're not buying it in the slightest. Well. Do you guys want to talk about it or? Why don't you step out so we can talk about it? Sianrath steps forward out of the shadows. Hey, how are you doing? I've had better days. I could say the same for myself. Are the rest of you coming? Yes, I'm trying to move my character. There we go. I was waiting for the path to be cleared. Path is clearish. Your little token. Hmm. There I we go. Su- I suggest you fools make peace with whatever puny god you worship. Because I'm about to send you to meet them. No one makes a fool of me. I, I found better names. Cool. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, kill the Final Fantasy VII boss music. <laughs> Barak Bolt and Blitz. Barak Bolt Blitz. Go get him. <laughs> Essentially. 
fucking Arafin is the only one to actually roll a decent initiative this campaign. This, this game. <laughs> fucking hell. When you get it should, fired up. Should I roll initiative? Should we roll initiative again or no? From the sense of you know it, what? no. You know what? Go ahead and roll initiative again. Let's see Fair. where this goes. Well, shit. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> so. With a negative one. Alright. Nara, you just spent your bonus action calling your guard drakes forward. What are you going to do next? Uh, I'm going to yeet. I'm going to spend my last uh, spell slot. All right. Yeeting a... Actually, do I do the dumb? Yes. Hey, I got people coming in after me. Let's do this! <laughs> this would be appropriate because they were attacking drakes when that happened. Ha yeah. <laughs> ha! Shit, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time for the stupid! That's not what I wanted to do! God damn it! Alright. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just making sure this is, uh, yes, fifteen foot cube. Okay. I think you already know what I'm gonna do. Thunderclap. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, the sad thing is, I'm probably gonna need assistance here. I think we're all gonna need a little hand. But Time just... for the stupid as a run in here. The berserker, Hello. the berserker looks over in shock as you stand next to him, and he's even more shocked when you actually unleash your spell. As she as she runs up, doing her hand signs on the move, and claps her hands when she gets here, <clears throat> releasing this shock wave. All right, roll it. Con save. Crap, I don't have the berserkers up. Oh no, what have I done? They probably have good con being berserkers. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> Alright. I probably should have done uh, Burning Hands. Two. Instead. And only gotten the three of them. Okay, well, one of them saved. And Sionrath saved. Uh, half damage? Yeah, half damage. All right. And they, and those that save are not pushed back. So, uh, five or those that are pushed back are pushed back ten. All right. So minus five, minus five. All right. Good job, Bennett. I'm gonna move right here and I'm going to summon my spiritual weapon Shing. Sparkle, right, sparkle. right here and I am going to take a swing at uh, the big guy I forget his name right, on the Rosa Sianrath Sianrath uh, excuse uh, me yeah he, he no sells it easily I'm so, just imagining the glove shows up and tries to pimp slap him. I have a quick question. Um, is It says that it's a bonus action, and then is it an action to hit with it, since I used my bonus action already? Uh, that's a good question. Mega Man, let me look that up. Spiritual weapon. Why am I looking this up in the book? I have it on the fucking thing. I'll tell you why, Mega Man, because I like to. Fuck you. <laughs> I 
way I'm reading it is it's just a bonus action to yep, it's just summon a... it and attack. Yep. So next turn you can use it as a bonus action again. So I still have an action. You still have an action. Oh god, you still have an action. <laughs> All right, for my action, I am going to cast Sacred Flame on... Oh, thank god. Okay. He's probably just going to say, uh, fuck that. Yeah, he said fuck that. And I'm gonna, I have a little bit of movement left. I'm gonna move uh, back over here. All right. Arafin, you're up. Okay. I think I'm still a decent distance away. You're about 15 feet. Yeah. It's my last spell slot, so I'm going to make it count. She's going to cast Mind Spike on the Ooh. lead guy. Ah, you sons of bitches. The ice don't like you tonight. No, no, they really don't. <sighs> Oof. So, uh, that, that just... That probably hits me instead, I'd imagine. Uh, you have a nosebleed. Yeah. And it's their uh. turn. And time for me to die. One of the berserkers charges up at Arafin and swings his mighty great axe and slices into her chest, dealing ten damage. Uh. One of the other Is one. One of the other ones yeah. rushes up. Swing better, better, better. You'd think they wouldn't attack their own drakes. Or what they thought were their own drakes. He roars, going into a full reckless fury. And crits on the drake. No! Not Blitz! How the fuck do you know which one is which? I can tell. <laughs> A pet funny. owner just knows. You've had them for less than 30 minutes. I oh, know yeah. that I would kill anyone just for touching them. <laughs> All right, Rosa. Uh, let's see if we <laughs> live long enough to kill them. <laughs> All right. You hear the other berserkers shouting in here. And Sianrath turns around slowly. Oh, you and I are going to have fun. And swings twice with his mighty greatsword. The first one misses as you duck, narrowly duck under it. But then you realize he was setting you up as he grabs his greatsword with his other hand and swings it back down, slicing into you and dealing 10 damage. Ow! I am at three. So am I. And Astos, it is your turn. I'm going to rush in behind, behind Mr. General Dude and try and give Fenora some support. All right, go ahead and make your move. Hit him with my spear. He gave me. He turns and looks at you, and a look of shock crosses his face. I thought you were a part of the cult. You're hurting my friend, so you should stop it. Truly the most epic battle cry we have ever heard. <laughs> Uh, no, okay. No, no, no. This just makes me think of one of those animations where they're running in super. And like right before they hit, they go into this long winded spiel of. In, there's the per most perfectly calm, like, library voice. You're hurting my friend. Here's a list of 50 different reasons why you should stop. Number one, I'm going to kill you. N number two, I'm going to raise you after I kill you. <laughs> and kill you again. <laughs> Morgan, you may re-roll that attack if you'd like. God 
God damn. We love we love this. This is cool. This is so great. <laughs> you know what? Roll it roll it a third time. I wanna see. There we go. Freaking algorithm. That man. one that one actually would hit too. Alright. Oh. Roll ten damage. Nice. As you stab him in the back. He roars, lightning crackling across his face scales. Oh, you are going to pay for that one. And Nora. Yay, my turn. Okay. Thirteen. Hey, this guy's wearing armor, right? Yeah. Metal armor. Yes, he is. Woo! Shocking grasp at advantage. Oh shit! <laughs> Microwave. Of course. <laughs> oh my god! Go ahead and roll that one again. There, there we go. go. Roll damage. Watch min damage. Hey, not min damage. All right, six damage to him. Wait, three damage to him. Right, because he's blue. Why did I think that would be effective? All right, it's the heat of the moment, man. It's okay. And Bennett, you're up. It was either that or, I or ice. All right, for my bonus action, I'm going to smack with a spiritual weapon. Bap. That will hit. All right. It's a 1d8 plus your thing. Wisdom. That is max damage, my dude. Ouch. Get it, girl. <laughs> my spiritual weapon's a girl. So. That's Fair. cool. And with my action, I am going to uh, cast a healing ward on uh, Nora. Hey! What a team player. Okay, yeah. now I'm just imagining your, your gauntlet uh, weapon just like being super sassy as it attacks people not actually going in for punches and shit like that slapping. just going in for like yeah just slapping <laughs> just just you the sassiest of slaps like oh my god stop it no back off leave them alone all right it's a gauntlet with an eye on it all right uh yep you heal five Arafin, you're up she is retreating yep. in and gonna try to fire off the crossbow because she is out of spell slots. Retreat uh. behind the wall of Drake. Uh, Eldritch Blast is a cantrip. It's infinite use. Okay, that, that's even better. Yeah, Bang! We, Bang. The one that hurt her. Yeah. Uh, oh fuck you! Yes. Adding charisma modifier to the damage. So that's a nine. Dude, that fucker. No, it's just a five. Because it's an agonizing blast. Oh, shit. You already... At, yeah. Don't you already have that added in? Oh, excuse Actually, what me. What does okay. agonizing blast do? I it, it, it adds, adds to your modifier your, to yeah. the damage that's dealt once I hit. And as long as it's a, the Eldritch Blast spell. I put it on my sheet. Nice. All right. And it is their turn. As as Nora is about to find herself in very much pain. Oh yes. He swings once. You narrowly miss. He swings back at you again, cleaving you open. You're at zero HP. He did fourteen. Yeah, damage. that's a. <sighs> And then he action surges. Oh no. And, and turns back to Astos 
and swings again. As he swings overhead, his sword catches into the stone ceiling and remains stuck there. <laughs> Is that a warning shot? Oh, you sound so disappointed. <laughs> roll 20's automatic roll for if he had advantage, it was a crit. Oh. It was literally a nat 1. And a nat 20. Wow. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh my god. My soul hurts. <laughs> hey, there's only two party members near death, so come on. We can still win, buddy. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Alright, the berserker <laughs> rushes back out. And coming with him is a group of cobalt union workers and a num and a couple more guard drakes behind them and with that their turn ends because the berserkers swiped the drakes and the drakes said no astos good job barak get him blitz astos you have advantage against him this turn cool i'm gonna run him through the chest Please. As you bring your spear up. <laughs> that thirteen that will hit? not that thirteen will not go through his armor. Oof, okay. Would you like to spend your bonus action to make your other attack? Yeah, I would. Go ahead. I believe in you. <laughs> yes. That's Okay. Roll damage. Shish kebab. Shish kebab. Your attack bounces off of him, but you roar and smash it back into his chest, dealing 18 damage total. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Ooh. With that, make me one more attack roll, just for cinematics. Oh, fun. <sighs> that'll be a that'll oh. be a twenty two. Yeah. All right. How do you want to do this? I am going to go for the chest again, straight through, and look him directly in the eyes. All right. You plunge as you plunge your spear into him the first time. It goes through his chest, and he balks in terror. As you spin around him, rage fueling your actions, you pull the spear out through him, flip it around, and jam it back through the other side of his chest. Basically running him through twice in the span of a few seconds. And that will be enough to reduce him to zero HP. Sianrath releases his greatsword slumps to his knees and falls to the ground dead. And with that, seeing that, all of the other enemies are demoralized. Nora, you're dying. Bennett, what would you like to do? I'm going to go right here and just yell. Have you guys had enough? The kobolds seem to have had enough, but the berserkers are still fighting, still roaring in rage. Have it your way. Remember, ah, remember, you still have your thing I know but I want to save Nora <laughs> I'm going to channel divinity right here go ahead and roll that damage buddy 
roll that damage hard. As they roll con saves and I'm gonna give them all disadvantage because they're demoralized. That's gonna be 12 damage to everyone. The Berserkers are not going down without a fight. That's not in their nature. However, right, then as a bonus action, can I move my uh, spiritual weapon up one to this one and attack yeah. that guy? Yeah. That'll hit. As it punches him in the back of the face, dealing seven force damage. All right. And I'll go ahead and attack for all the drakes. As these two drakes back here charge at the berserker after seeing their comrades up here fighting against them. So let's see. First one against the first berserker. Chomp. Chomp for a grand total of 18 more damage. And then the other one attacks. Chomp and misses. Chomp and hits for seven more. Last one. Chomp and chomp. The, the, the drakes just continue biting and lashing out at their original owners. They seem happy that they can now fight against the people who have been kind of mistreating them this whole time. Time to find two more Drake names. <laughs> All right. And I can delete that. Probably not going to fight that thing. All right. And... Arafem, it's your turn. Okay, if I try, try to use the last bit of my strength to run towards Nora, it's going to invoke an attack of opportunity, yeah, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Is. So, so, yeah, she's going to, if I can get the arrow, I have to move back towards the stairwell for cover, and she can get a better shot at firing crossbow bolt, at, or, no, Eldritch Blast at Thank the you. Berserkers. Yep. Yes. Fuck. Got again. Nope. That's just going to be a big old note. All right. All right. She's lost too much blood and can't focus. Mm. Fuck. Uh. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Those two attacks are going to hurt. One of your drakes takes a total of eight damage. This berserker turns around and starts swiping at one of his old drake buddies. And misses. All right. That's it for the Berserkers. Astos? Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? I... Hmm. You are looking cute and fluffy, and I wish to pet you. But I won't, because you are a barbarian, and you could probably eat me. <laughs> Hey. This one. You got it. <laughs> That'll hit. For seven damage. Nice. All right. Bonus action to Frenzy. Oh, am I still doing that? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been a minute Please. yet. Swing again with your spear. Chomp, yes. D -d damage, good. Ow. Alright. Nara. Yes. You're dying. Yes. Let's see how dying I am. You're getting killed here, Smalls. I am very dying. Oh, jeez. I am very dying. Yeah, that's... Right. Yeah, one of us has to get her this turn or she's gone, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. Luckily, the berserkers are quite occupied with uh, some drakes. Yeah, but Hawksell said I would have gotten an attack of opportunity if I try to get around them. 
The Drakes are currently dealing with the rest of the Berserkers. So, well, that's it's my turn. Be... Yeah. Fucking Christ, these guard Drakes are beasts. Uh, yes, Bennett, it's your turn. All right, I'll run over to Nora and say, not today, Satan. And heal her for oh. eight. <laughs> and then I want to move my spiritual weapon to here. Uh. And I'm going to smack that guy. Punch. That'll hit. Spectral punch. Ooh, max damage again. And you uh, fucked up his face beyond recognition. Nice. All right. With that, your spiritual weapon fades. The drakes all kind of gather up around each other, chewing on the bodies. And you have beaten Land Landrasorva. Uh, Sanrath. And I think Mist just got home. All right. Ow. All the. Ow. Are, you, are you okay? I did not think that through, but did I at least help? Yes, you're, you're, you're okay. You're okay. And I'll help her up to her feet. <coughs> I want to apologize Ow. for being a dick earlier. No, I was a bit snippy, too. Sorry. All is well. Arafin, are you okay over there? All right. She, you see her covered in blood. Uh, no. Not. And she just slumps back down to the floor. No. Trying to cover the wound on her chest. Oh. I think I have one more spell slot left. Oof. If I can just can rest for a little bit. Oh. Yeah, take, take a last, nap. Last, uh, last spell slot for the day. Oh, right. I will heal her for 11. Thank you. Okay. Just pets. Uh, Er, uh, not Erfin, Rune. Wait, yes? Me. Yes, Erfin? Yeah. I'm tired. What the Arifin. fuck am I saying? Yeah, oh. Erfin is her name. Yes, just pets Erfin on the shoulder. You feeling better now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, once this stuff's okay. bleeding, sure. I'm uh. gonna make sure the puppies are... The, not the puppies, the drakes are okay. The drakes are... Also... Go ahead. I also want to tell the Drakes and Draconic, do not eat him. Please. One of them was about to, but upon hearing the order, it backs off and starts chewing on a kobold instead. We'll pat that one on the head like, yeah, it's okay. I know a place where we can get... In Draconic, hey, guys, you want to go get something to eat? I know a place that's full of meat. Alright. As the group is now able to look around this area, you realize that it's not really a cave. This chamber has been enlarged and reshaped from its original form. The floor and three of the walls are smooth. Stalactites and stalagmites have been polished into gleaming columns. Every surface glistens with moisture, and the air here is warm and humid. The flat walls of the chamber are decorated with shallow, abstract carvings of dragons. Dragons' tails coil into intricate patterns and knots that flow across the walls. The creature portrayed in the northwest corner stands out, a five-headed dragon rising from an erupting volcano. Other dragons, which seem dwarfed by the five-headed monstrosity, flock to its side. Hidden somewhat underneath this is a small wooden chest with silver and mother of pearl inlays. Am 
must be their offering. Please proceed. I would like to loot, uh, I keep forgetting his name. Sanrath. Sanrath. I, I want to make take a, a good five, ten minutes to check every nook and cranny here. <laughs> to meow? <laughs> yeah, but it, it's dinner time and Betty's hungry. Uh, oh, right. Eric, I'll look in the chest with another pearl stuff. All right, give me just a sec. Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> Sanrath is wearing a purple splint mail, which you can easily get repaired. Has a large greatsword that looks to be inlain with blue dragon scales. And uh, Astos currently has his spear. And he also has, if I can find it in here, about 50 gold worth of sapphires on him. All right. So, Arafin, you're there looking at the statue of Tiamat. Ah. No. All right. I'm here buddying up to the drakes. I'll uh, turn to Astos and say, Astos, come here. Uh, okay. While you two are doing that, uh, Sarah, please make me a perception check. I think that uh, this sword belongs to you. And I'll hand her the sword. I'll gently take it and nod my head to him. Good work. Same to you. A wink. I ship it. Wink wonk. Arafin, you notice as you're about to open the chest that there are a couple of mechanisms on the hinge. Oh, stop. And you also see a keyhole on the front of the chest, which actually seems to match a key that you found in the previous session in uh, Frulam's office. Oh, yep. yep. Using the key to unlock the doohickey, so no, no traps here. <laughs> as, you, as you use the key, something clicks, and you, you hear something unwinding. As Ooh. the chest pops open automatically. You see a few drops of acid drain from the mouths of the uh, statue of Tiamat. Alright. The chest contains a few of the choicest items seized during the cult's recent treasure raids. You find a string of pearls, a golden sapphire ring, and a small oh. pouch containing a half dozen masterfully cut and polished precious stones. Awesome. In addition, you find a couple of scrolls and an amulet. Hmm. Roll me history. Anyone who wants to study the amulet for a minute. If it's passed over, <laughs> we'll totally investigate it. Proficient in history. What the fuck? You are? Yeah, the dice just hate me right now. I'm a sage as a background. You want me to take a look at it? <sighs> Please. Okay. The dice are just not with me today. Nope. <laughs> How are you? Alright, so Bennett, as you see the two of them pass the amulet to each other, trying to figure out what it is, you actually recognize it. 
The small red wooden amulet is uh, has numerous symbols on it belonging to the Red Wizards of Thay. The Red Wizards of Thay being a arcane organization from the nation of Thay, who are, uh, let's just say, uh, ethically questionable. Oh, I know what that is. And I explained that to them. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I, I must have missed the book about them or something. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, strange group of wizards they are. The Indeed. The scrolls, as you unravel them and take a look inside, act, are not magical scrolls. In fact, they are receipts. It would seem that the cult has been in contact with some with the red wizards. And in particular, they are, they have a uh, smuggling ring set up, which these receipts are for. The smuggling ring operating out of a small town north of Neverwinter called Saltmarsh. Proof the monk was looking for. I think that we've more than earned that 150 gold. Yeah. Nora, over here, you see that there are wooden steps built down, heading down into a uh, large valley-like cavern area. It is even warmer and more humid in here. And as the light comes in, you can see dragon eggs half buried in the dirt and mud. And with that, guess what Nora does with at an almost instinctual level? Jumps. Goes the adu the does the adorable squee, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to people's eardrums. <laughs> Thank you. And slides down the edge of the lip, not even going for the stairs, just directly for this one. All right. As you do, a large stalactite turns and watches you move. It doesn't make any other motion, but now that it's moved, you can tell that there is a very large roper just sitting there. A roper? A roper, an aberration that looks like a normal stalactite, stalagmite, until it moves and starts lashing out with numerous tentacles. Does it oh. seem aggressive right now? It does not seem aggressive, which is strange. I start bending over to pick up the egg. No, it doesn't really do anything. As I pick up the egg, I'm going to... Move along the wall. It just watches you. Just casually watching. Passes the Are you egg. Okay? Pa pa passes the egg to Bennett. Grab it. Do I see any other eggs down here? Uh. uh they're they're the only other eggs are tokens. So. If you move around, you'll be able to see him eventually. Okay. The roper is not moving, but it is eyeing the party curiously. I'll, I'll move over to the stairs with the egg and... You're, you not, cult. Who you? I am Nora Mog. Not cultist. 
not cobalt. Is well, that a problem? Why here? To deal with them and make sure that they don't hurt anybody. Hmm. Have food. We know... Not on us, but we know a place where there is plenty of food. Where food? There is another small section of cave it connected to this one. If you let us pick up these e dragon eggs... Not dragon eggs. I don't think I'd know that they're dragon eggs, but I know yes, that they're eggs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Let me just pick up these dragon eggs, and I will lead you to the small cave area where there is plenty of antler, deer, and large cats that are just waiting to be eaten. Its tentacles writhe a bit as it considers your options. Yes. Yes, lead me to food. This okay. is deal. And we'll, we'll gladly pick... get out of the way. <laughs> we'll pick up the two dragon eggs. One in each arm like a happy little mama. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. And leads the roper to the room with the strung up animals i am going to go ahead and take y'all off of this back to the start page because you basically finished this dungeon i want someone to cut off what's his face's head or a head and i'll carry it back okay all right that, that's a bit fertile but okay it can be done i'll do it <laughs> you got the tools for the job might want to use that long sword decapitated with his own blade and we will close the book on this for now I am I am noting down five pet guard drakes all right I'm gonna write up the treasure list real quick gold please and thank you I don't care about having any loot I just want the drakes and, that's and fine with me and, and and the eggs. I, I I will I will protect the eggs with my life. Yes, you can be dragon alty. Bennett also has like a hundred and seventy gold to split between all of us. So cool. Just from what he got here, mm -hmm. or hundred. I got a hundred and twenty from the other people you said last session. Oh yeah. And then I got uh, another fifty. 120 plus 50 should be 170, and then I had I had 10 gold. Ah. All right. So as the party le leads the roper to the meat den, it squeals and happily begins devouring all of it, leaving the party to lead their guard drakes out, dragging their oh. captives along with them, with the dragon <laughs> eggs packed safely away. Can I grab a couple of pieces of meat for the drakes? Yes. Just, just yeah. to say so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally would have done so, done so like, try, try to grab as much as I could. With, with, just The thing is, she she wants to befriend the drakes. Yes, I know, the, I get it. You, these eggs. Yes. These eggs are more important to her right now. Okay. With that, the party leaves the hatchery and begins the trek back to Greenest. Next time, we will be picking up at Greenest with the party talking to everyone and making a plan to take down this evil cult. So, we will see y'all next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Tyranny of Dragons. My name is Hawk, and I've been your GM for today. Our players today were Sarah, playing Arafin, the Human Warlock. Nate, playing Nora Mog, the Dragonborn Sorcerer. Morgan, playing Astos, the Dragonborn Barbarian. Mist, playing Buttercup, the Halfling Rogue. And Fish, playing Bennett, the Human Cleric. Character art used belongs to Atlas, Sim Studio, Yama Orche on DeviantArt, and Morgan and Nate, who drew their own. Tyranny of Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons, and all associated properties are copyright Wizards of the Coast. This has been a Prism Blade gaming production. 
If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing, and please share this video with your friends. We stream this campaign on a bi-weekly basis over at twitch.tv slash prismbladegaming. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Hawk Joe Henson, to keep up to date with other streams and videos we'll be working on. Again, thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you again next time.